Okay, here's another guitar video. This is a uh, very, very cool guitar. It's a um, Ovation 12-string Glenn Campbell model. This belongs to my, to my sister. Um, I think she bought it in the 70s. I think at the time it was like um, 400 bucks, I think, at the time. And um, this is a lot of cool features about this guitar. When I was a kid, I grew up watching the TV show The Partridge Family, which is what was one of my favorite shows, and I just loved it because it was all about you know music, fam musical family. Originally based on the uh, the, the Cow Sills, which was actually an actual real family band. Um, the Cow Sills were an amazing band. There's a documentary that came out called Family Band. If you haven't seen it, I, I highly recommend checking it out. Extremely talented family. Um, a few of them are actually still still performing to uh, this day. Um, just they put out some amazing music. Um, they definitely had um, a lot of ups and downs. Um, watch the, the documentary. Um, but just a, just a really cool uh, um, film. Anyways, the Partridge family was based on the uh, Cow Sills, and I remember watching it and seeing uh, David Cassidy, you know, who played Keith Partridge. They played a lot of Ovation guitars. One thing about that show, I was watching a couple of reruns of it, and it looks like Ovation got a lot of their instruments in the, featured in the TV show, and so did Wurlitzer. Um, they, they, they play Wurlitzer keyboards. I think I, they might have even had some Wurlitzer amplifiers. Um, I could be wrong on that. Somebody could could uh, correct me. Feel free to leave, leave a comment about that if you have some information on it. So, but anyways, um, I wanted to talk about a, a lot of interesting features on this guitar. It was you know, it, Ovations have this um, back that's some kind of uh, non wood material. <laughs> okay, I'm not I'm not sure what, sure what it is. Um, you know, it's some kind of resin or something that they formed, you know, with this bowl shape, and um, it has. Um, it does have a built-in pickup, piezo pickup under the bridge with a preamp. The controls here, you know, these, these are pretty limited compared to guitars nowadays. Like acoustics nowadays, I have a couple of acoustic electrics. They have, you know, fairly extensive EQing. They might have a built-in microphone. This just basically has a volume knob and then a knob that says bass and treble. So you could basically make the tone more bassy or more trebly. Um, and this definitely has some uh, some damage. Um, I think I think she, my my uh, uh, sister played it a lot, like like in high school and college, or whatever. Um, it may have sat for a while. The bridge is pulling apart. You know, it's pulling forward. There's a lot of a massive amount of tension on a twelve string guitar. You got just a, an incredible amount of uh, force pulling on the bridge, and there are some cracks in the soundboard here, and you can actually feel you know bridges there. Um, I took this to a luthier to see if I can get it fixed, and he basically advised me not to fix it. It would require, he said, a total rebuild. He said the tops are not actually glued onto the bottom. They used epoxy or something, so he, you'd almost have to destroy the whole top and then re, reconstruct it to, to rebuild these. Um, if someone's got more information about this, feel free to add a comment about it. But he basically said, you know, just play it, as, you know, tune it down to pitch. I have it tuned down a whole step he said you know just kind of be careful with it play it hanging on the wall for art but i prefer to play guitars instead of hanging them on the wall <laughs> so i have this tuned up about as best as i can it might not sound totally great but i'm gonna play a couple things you gotta play Still not out. I've been kind of fighting with the tuning on it, um, so apologize if it's not perfect. I was able to get it to be sort of in tune here, and then it wouldn't be in tune up there, you know. So it definitely needs a setup. Anyways, I won't torture you by trying to play more stuff on this one. So. Um, the neck is really nice. It has binding on the neck, really nice inlays, kind of like a diamond pattern. Um, fair, fair amount of fret uh, wear on this. The tuners are really, really nice. They're, you know, Ovation tuners. They, they have the Ovation logo on them. I'm not sure what these pegs are, but just really, really pretty. They really did a great job on this. And interesting kind of design. This is sort of like a classical guitar headstock. Um, you know, the, the, this is, it, it, which is a classical guitar with, with the tuners. Uh, coming out from the top, I believe. And the neck is a, a laminated neck, 
I don't know what kind of wood this is, but it's like five pieces and you can see on the video, you know, there's a dark wood and then some thin layers of lighter wood and then another, you know, piece of, of a dark wood there. Um, the sound hole has a pretty cool uh, decorative, I uh, forget what you call this part on the guitar. Um, so that, that's kind of cool. And it does have, the output jack is right here on the back. And then at some time, I think somebody modified it with a battery jack. Because these normally have an internal battery, but to change them, you got to take the strings off and, and reach in there. So I think somebody put a, a jack here where you could plug in an, an external battery. And that way you could, you could change them without having to loosen the strings or take them down. I'm going to hold this up. We might be able to see in the light just what the soundboard looks like. You can see the cracks which are there, so, but it's, you know, about, about a 50 year old uh, guitar. Um, and yeah, right on the uh, truss rod cover here, it says Glenn Campbell. So this was like a, a model that I believe uh, Glenn Campbell used in a concert. The logo here is, is really kind of nice. I think it's just a, like a decal or something that they put on the headstock. So um, body has binding. There's a, there, there is a strap button there, which is cool. And, and strap button here as well. So, and it came with a really nice, uh, you know, custom made hard shell case. The case looks like it's practically mint. Um, I might, uh, well, whatever. Cases aren't as exciting as the guitar. So, um, so that's about it. Uh, Ovation 12 string, Glenn Campbell model. Uh, watch some episodes of the Partridge family. You'll see this appear in a bunch of episodes. Um, I don't know if they used it on any, any of the Partridge Family albums. They might have. One other thing I noticed, I don't know if this will show up either. There are some cracks right here. Um, they might just be in the finish right there, though. But, you know, this is the prime area where necks crack if, if a guitar falls over um, or if, if it's just too much tension there. So um, there, there are some cracks there. Like I said, I have it tuned down a whole step. And, um, you know, I have to get this back to my sister. But... Um, you know, we, I was going to have this fixed. It was uh, it, it was going to be almost an entire rebuild to um, bring this back to life. But uh, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment. Anybody that's got more information on this or wants to add anything, um, totally open to additional information that you might have on this guitar. Thanks. Bye.